Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Shattered Relics League. Last video, we went to Basilisk Knights and we got the jaw and made the face guard. And then I went to Shamans for a bit. I did some easy clue scrolls. And we were starting off the day with about 32k points. Looks like I've spent like an hour and a half or something this morning mining Amethyst, just in case I end up needing more darts, because I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. I just need something to AFK. Um, but one of the goals that I had is to just learn how to solo raid because I've never done solo raids before. I did about 1000 raids in my UYM, but those were all team raids and it was a lot of fun, but it was very inconvenient and be very difficult to learn solo raids on a UYM. And I think the league with all the fragments and stuff uh, would be the perfect opportunity to learn how to do solo raids, especially Ulm. I think that's like the main challenging part of learning solos. And I would think that learning it in the league with all these different fragments and stuff should make it a lot more forgiving and therefore also a lot easier and less frustrating to learn. It's also currently Valentine's Day today. Happy Valentine's Day. Except you're probably not seeing this video for two more days, but yeah, I'm gonna go gear up for solo raids and then I'll see you back when I have everything sorted out. Oh yeah, I can't like teleport there either. I feel like take the minecart. No, I don't even have the minecart unlocked. I have to like go to the, the mountain guide or whatever. Anyways, I'll see you over there. I'm just looking at this gear tab. This is a pretty healthy looking gear tab. I like, I really set myself up for success. I feel like I did all this stuff to get like everything out of the way just so that I would have like really good gear for raids. When in reality with all the fragments, it probably shouldn't even be an issue. Uh, I want to learn four to one. But I, I, I've heard that you can just face tank Ulm and you don't even need to worry about learning that. But I want to take this opportunity to learn. I don't know. On one hand, I feel like my inventory is pretty cramped with all these different switches. Oh, I have to bring an axe too. I was uh, asking Zach about like solo raids. And if you get mutt, it's best to bring your own axe. So ideally, I guess you'd want a stock of bronze axes in your bank. But I don't have to teleport to get back here so I'll just bring like that one and then I can just drop this if it's too inconvenient to keep it on me. At least I have a nice healthy supply of brews and restores though. I for It's been so long I forgot like how many of each I'm supposed to bring. I guess it's probably a decent amount. I'm gonna be on the regular spell book so I can use water spells because I'm probably not gonna be able to dodge the flame wall or won't be good at it or whatever since I'm just learning. And my thrall fragment still isn't yet level three anyways. So uh, speaking of fragments, let's take a look at what we got. The two main ones I really want to have were Bandoji and Might and Zamorak and Sight to just make melee and mage like really good. Uh, larger recharger and special discount for all those BGS specs and blowpipe specs. And I mean, I guess I could bring like ACB switch, but I don't want to like worry about so many switches. I'd rather focus more on learning the mechanics. And with this setup, I got absolute unit, Draken's touch to heal, twin strikes. Yeah. Okay, after all this planning though, let's stop talking and let's start scouting. Oh crap, I forgot to unlock raids. I hope I have enough renown to unlock it. <laughs> Here's the raid. Um, I mean, it's probably not like the best raid, but I'm not gonna be rushing. I'm just gonna be trying to learn. And yeah, the time will definitely not be good. <laughs> So let's begin starting off with Tecton. I remember this from the UYM. Sometimes I would just equip my Warhammer and just watch everyone else run around and I would just do this method. Apparently it's called the two-step method where you just go back and forth. Um, even, like even if you're not gonna hit on the tick that you step to him, you need to like be next to him so that he doesn't go back to the anvil. Yay, Tecton defeated. Oh yeah, and then you get the overload too so you don't have to make, that's a nice thing about solo raids. Like you get all the overload to yourself. This seems so frustrating to do in solos. So you have to smash this crab here. Oh yeah, I have the crab timers, that's nice. And then, oh no, wait, I hope the other crabs don't get in the way cause that's gonna be really annoying. Move, move, no, no, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, I'm a beast. Is that the right color? I forgot, it's been a while. I think that's it, or is that? Yeah, okay, then that one's magic. You know what's really annoying is if you smash it in the wrong spot, then you have to like wait for it to, or like make some other weird pattern. <laughs> Probably easier just to wait for it to get unfrozen. Actually, no, this room isn't as bad as I thought it would be. So with absolute unit for Vasa, with this teleport thing, I shouldn't take that much damage. And then with Bandoji and Might, I should be able to do a lot of damage. Because um, normally you'd use range for Vasa, uh, and then it should also reflect damage. So even if I'm like in the path of Vasa, then I'll be like reflecting all that damage. And apparently I'm not hitting, so maybe I should use range. Well, <laughs> at least I'm doing damage by reflecting it, but I'm not like actually hitting. I thought Bandoji and Might would pull through, but I guess not. I think reflecting the damage here should kill it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I forgot about that for guardians, the fact that I would need a pickaxe, but luckily there is an iron pickaxe spawn. And I think with Bandoji and Might, I should be able to do a bunch of damage, um, even though it's only iron. 
<laughs> Yo, that's sick. The chest, I forgot this thing exists. I can store my items in there. Um, Cause UIMs can't use this chest. So I've like never used it. I think I did like a couple raids on my main account or hardcore years ago, like right after raids came out, but I've never actually got to experience using this chest. That's so cool. For Mystics, my pal Puff told me that a lot of people were just maging them with Zamorak in sight and it was really accurate. And well, clearly it looks like it's working. Normally you would use range on them. t around the corner, t around the corner, on pace, on pace, on pace. Get to the safe spot, t around the corner, t around the corner, miss no ticks, miss no ticks. God dang it, Mudkip, you miss a tick, we gotta restart. As I'm like just now getting to the prep room 30 minutes into the raid. I'm having some massive imposter syndrome right now, like I feel like I don't <laughs> belong here. All right, I'm gonna head in and see how it goes. It's the only way to learn. Like, I could very easily kill Ulm without like worrying about the four to one stuff, but I really wanna learn. Okay, my goal is to not reset the hand. Please, yes. So I completely failed my goal. Um, my goal is to learn four to one, and I just had no idea what was going on the whole time, so I, I did not learn anything. Well, there is one thing I learned. I learned that I don't have to like do four to one in leagues, but I, I want to learn how to four to one. I have all these supplies left over too. Okay, first raid, and we get. Wait, I got purple. I got purple, but I can't see it in the chat. Oh my god. So my CC knows what I got, but I don't know. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, be a Dex, please. Oh yes, dude. Oh, it's so good. That's so freaking good. That's so, dude, Zach got Dex 1KC as well. It's so funny. Okay, well, let's learn Rigor. Oh, it's such a good first drop to get. How many league tasks did I just get done as well? So that's 100 league points, 50 league points, 50 league points. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Dude, I cannot get over that. That's so funny. I, I feel bad because like I didn't learn anything. I just I just went through the raid, which like I guess it's okay for getting comfortable, but like I, I could easily just go through these raids really fast. I feel like if I didn't care to like learn stuff at Ulm, I feel like it'd be really easy. It's crazy that me and Zach both got it one KC. Like this shit is simulation for real. Well, with that, I guess it's time to go do more raids. Let's try it again. I just quickly looked at a guide and I guess I need to have my staff not on long range for solos, so. Maybe that'll help. Well, for Ulm specifically, that is. And this time I will actually bring an axe and a pickaxe. Oh good, I'm glad I brought the antidote with me just in case I get shamans because I'm solo scouting. I don't have like an alt or any friends to help me or anything. So probably a good idea to bring the antidote with me. You can make like some kind of anti-poison in raids now, but just doesn't seem worth the time to do that. Oh, huge BGS specs coming in clutch for Ice Demon. Maybe I'll just melee actually because I'm like doing decent damage. <laughs> Well, Bandagian might. Let's see how Shamans goes with magic. Will I be able to like do damage? Because I should be like super accurate. Trying to not aggro the other Shaman would be very nice. Yeah, it seems to be hitting pretty well. Zamorak Insight's so sick. Nice having unlimited run though, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> 25 mil strength XP. This clip right here is like the exact moment when it clicked for me how to do this like mage running thing or wh whatever it's called, I don't know. So that you don't take any hits from Ulm when you're attacking the mage hand. It was my first time actually doing this. So I wasn't able to do it for too long, but like as soon as I did this, like the timing just clicked for me and you have to like attack when the trident is like on its fourth tick. But you can see right there, I did it one tick too early, so I got out of the cycle. Bro, what am I, I haven't even started attacking the mage yet. What am I doing? I was like trying to learn four to one, but I got so carried away with it that I just completely forgot to even attack the mage hand. Okay, so number two was 36 minutes and we get, oh, the ancient tablet, yes. That's one out of 10. So we just use that on the Xerix Talisman. Okay, use the Ancient Tablet on the Xerix Talisman and I've now unlocked the teleport to Xerix Honor, which is the raids area. So I won't have to like go to the mountain guide in the future. I can just teleport straight here. And that was elite task to use that teleport, 50 points. Okay, everyone ready? Hearts up, let's go. <laughs> Watch this epic way to heal up on the Guardians. <laughs> Love it. KC3. And I beat Chambers of Zeric in 30 minutes. That's 250 points, wow. I want to no prep, but after I started the raid, I realized I didn't have like a Tecton or a Mutt, so I couldn't get the overload. Yeah, pretty fast, nice. I've only done like, I think two crab rooms now, but I feel like really proficient at it. Maybe it's just like all the practice I've had from doing team raids. Tightrope is just insane because like, as I'm hitting them, I'm healing my health back with Draken's Touch. And even if I do start losing health from them, I could just spec four times because of the all those spec fragments. I guess the rangers are where the real test comes in. 
But I, I suppose with the absolute unit, and if you put on like the banner's armor, I probably could just cross and pick it up and just tank all the hits, but uh, KC4. Man, I'm just getting new PBs every time there's uh, 27 minutes. Dude, whenever I raid, and this still holds true right now, time just goes by so fast. Like, I have no idea where the day went. It's already 6.30. It's also Valentine's Day. I think I said that at the start, so probably gonna do a little bit of cooking. Today, we're cooking brownies. It's Ghirardelli. It's the good stuff. We'll see you back soon. It says about 40 to 45 minutes, so that is enough time for another raid. Okay, so I'm gonna try to no prep, and because we have Tecton, that means I'm gonna get the overload from him, so we'll try for a speedy raid. Not just because of the brownies, but because I actually want to try a speedy raid, but that's a good excuse too. Nice, so with the uh, blowpipe and rigor and like actually know what I'm doing now, this should be a three down Vasa if I could just do one more hit. Yes, only one teleport right at the start, cool. Oh, what did I just do? 20 master combat achievements. Ooh, a couple of tasks for Titan as well. I thought it was really smooth and I was wondering if there'd be tasks. Blind spot is killing Titan without him doing damage and anvil no more is just a one down tech. He only goes to the anvil once or less. Actually on good pace though, at least for me, we're uh, coming up to the Ulm room here. So let's see how fast this raid's gonna be. Look at that time, 23 minutes. And uh, cool, that was a league task to do a solo raid in 26 minutes. And this is what we get. I have a lot of supplies left over still. And there we go, we have brownie, brownie, yeah. Another own KC and let's see what we get. Cool, time for dinner. For my AFK time tonight, I'm thinking maybe I'll go for uh, like a Brian Saber. And then if I get that, maybe I'll go to Dark Beast and go for a Dark Bow. Just a couple of like items that you can equip for lead tasks that I can just easily AFK. And I'll just be grabbing Slayer tasks using NPC contact. And why is Steve's head so big? What? That's so weird. We're making this, uh, I guess like refried beans, taco kind of thing. And I, I was good. I didn't eat the brownies before uh, before actually eating dinner. So I was, I was in the middle of cutting jalapenos and I remember that you guys are probably really curious to see what's for dinner. So I'm gonna cook this in the wok. And we have uh, the Kraken boss from RuneScape here. And it's not, it's not all Kraken now. <laughs> all right, we got our Moss and Floss. Wait, Moss, wait, wait, cut, wait. <laughs> okay, we have all the food chopped up and ready to go. Get a close up of that, that sizzle. Next, we're gonna add the rice. I think it's probably, I mean, I, I like having rice where it's a day old and it's been in the fridge, preferably uncovered too. Like there's something about that like dried out rice that I think is really good in like stir fry. And then we got the meat and potatoes of the food, which is the beans. I got, uh, I, I made myokoba beans yesterday, which were two days ago. It's very like my favorite kind of bean. It may not look appetizing, but it's gonna be good when it's done. No. I just mashed them up in this container here. Add some corn into here. We got garlic powder, pepper, crushed red pepper. Of course, a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce and a little bit of lime juice because I feel like lime juice would go good in here. Look at that, look at that steam. From far away, it kind of looks like that. What's the name of that Mexican street corn? Kind of looks like that. Happy Valentine's Day, I got you a pancake. <laughs> Thanks for welcome. And just like that, we have our taco filling and our tacos, which just came out the oven. And, and yeah. Yeah, food, dinner, everyone loves food. We're actually not having tacos, we're having tortilla chips instead, just like really big tortilla chips. As soon as I logged back in, I realized maybe I could use a cannon there. And now that I have the cannon on me, we're like showing like the recommended cannon spot. So yeah, cannon will speed it up a bit. And I guess make it more AFK too, because with this, I barely have to do as much. By the way, the Brine Saber is one out of 512 and the rate is not boosted for the league. What? Dude, I, I forget, I just got here. All right, well, we got the Brine Saber already. Let's equip that and that is 25 lead points. Let's go over to the Dark Beasts. Now the Dark Bow does have a boosted drop rate. It's normally one out of 512, um, but for me, it's going to be 1 out of 170. And I should be able to leave both these prayers on the whole time without prayer draining. It should 
consistently stay up, probably. Yeah. So I can just AFK here. Bro, what? Dude, I just got here too. I just freaking got here. Well, <laughs> there's the dark bow. <laughs> I, dude, I was just telling this, this is such weird timing. I was in the middle of telling Spook what I just did, and like, oh, I'm a dark beast, so it should take a bit. And like, I, I wasn't finished typing my sentence, and I look over, and, <laughs> and I got the freaking dark boat. <laughs> oh, what do I do now? I'm trying to eat dinner, bro, I'm trying to enjoy this this taco night, taco and brownie night. Let's go to Kurask's because, oh, I just realized I wasn't even wearing the Slayer Helm. Uh, let's go to Kurask's because there's a task to equip a leaf blade sword and a leaf bladed battle axe. So hopefully we get one or the other. Do I have a leaf blade spear already? I freaking hate that weapon. I do have one though. Wait, is it two handed? Oh, okay, he's Bandoji might. Actually, maybe I'll just wear the Bandos Coif instead of the Slayer Helm with it. Oh, well, I don't really care. Let's just go over there. Before we head over there, I'm also going to buy the Herb Sack, which I never end up buying because at the time when I was doing Kai Farm, I just didn't have 58 Herb Lore, but now I do. So now we have that. Unfortunately, no task for that though. And then the drop rate for the Leaf Blade Battle Axe and the Leaf Blade Spear, they are both increased with the three times drop rate. They, they do work in the league. Uh, so normally from Kurask's, it's 1 out of 3d4, but 1 out of 128 uh, for the sword. And then for the battle axe, you can see with the 3 times rate, it's going to be 1 out of 342. Oh, <laughs> I was kind of like low-key half expecting to get it on the first KC, but no. Bro, you're kidding me. <laughs> Once again, haven't been here that long. Let me go upstairs and we'll check the KC. Sorry, I'm chewing. It was like not even 30 kills into the task. Um, so I guess now we're just gonna go for the leaf blade sword from here. It's funny I got the rare drop before getting the more common drop, and the drop that actually helps get the task or get or get the kills done faster. So it kind of worked out, I guess. Oh, a second leaf bladed battle axe before getting the sword. Wow, thanks game. That's it's a cool drop. Oh my god, the leaf bladed sword. I could finally go to bed. Enough is worth all the time. Let's actually uh, go grab the Slayer Helm out the bank and check the KC because I don't have my loot tracker on ever since the league started. I turned it off because I didn't want to interrupt my uh, group Iron Man's log. And that was 456 Karasks to get the 1 in 128 leaf bladed sword. Well, it was a lot of fun learning raids today or like, not like learning, but I don't know. It, it's, it's just fun. I'm having fun doing it in the league and I'll probably be doing more raids tomorrow. So with that said, we are wrapping up today with 33.1k league points. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.